Hello there my fellow holiday heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge video. Hopefully you had a relaxing weekend behind you because we do have a Gangan Challenge again today as it looks like for every Monday for the foreseeable future. Good news is it's probably one of the easiest Gangan Challenges we had. Well at least for me personally not having Gangans you know, I don't know about the Gangan feed, but at least the rest. Because you remember all the challenges we had in the past where we had to use Gangans, they were really, really tough, even the non-Gangan feeds. Whereas today, at least for me personally, I didn't have much troubles at all getting those done. So I'll cover the modifiers and the feeds and then show you a battle, only one battle to get all the other feeds done aside from Gangans. Probably many ways to approach it. I'll just show you the team that I used and how it worked. Um, there'll be a YouTube chapter below if you want to skip through. Otherwise, let's go ahead and review the modifiers for the Tatooine, the Dune Samstorm. If you need a reminder, at the end of every other turn, all units are inflicted with damage over time until defeated, which can't be resisted. Now, this is actually sort of a buff to the enemies because they've got Treya, and then whenever they are debuffed, uh, they're getting lots of bonuses. They save Trio amongst themselves, and whenever they do get a turn, they cleanse off those damage over times anyway. So, as long as Treya is alive, uh, actually, this modifier is boosting them. It's not really working against them, whereas, you know, working against us maybe we have to have a way to cleanse them off as well uh, because it'll take a couple of minutes that we burn for those tanky Sith Lords. Now in terms of the modifier for the players I have no idea what it does I don't have Gungans but just reading at it as always I'm gonna say the same thing it just makes Gungans even more Gungan that, that's how at least it looks like to me uh, let me know in the comments below the guys uh, they do have Jar Jar unlocked is it easy to do this or not? Is this modifier fun to use or not? I'm keen to find out. And then Grim Machinations, pretty good modifier for Sith-ish, because whenever we defeat uh, one of them, the rest of the guys uh, will be gaining uh, stacking health and offense and as well gain 50% turn meter and recover 50% health. And then also whenever Sith, they do defeat uh, someone, which it won't happen anyway, but if they would, they would get Dark Ascension buff which increases the damage they are dealing and decreases the damage they are receiving. Uh, so this is the modifiers, kind of straightforward. I guess the Dune Sandstorm is the only one we have to kind of work around it. But on that, hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult. Now in terms of feats, obviously it's a Gungan challenge, so full team of Gungans if you do have them. Otherwise, like majority of us players will have to settle for silver crate yet again today and then the remaining two feats are removing 400 percent turn meter from enemies and then as well win the battle with no tanks in your squad so i'll just do one battle that can do both feats at the same time again probably many ways to do this um because luckily the enemy they are slow so you can outrun them start you know controlling them and things like that but I will be going with the trusty Darth Vader lead uh, because uh, with his Zeta, whenever Empire and Sith deal damage to the enemy, they have 50% chance to remove 20% turn meter. Now, so that I don't rely solely on this, I'm also bringing in Gideon for his control situation as well. It removes turn meter from all enemies, so hopefully that'll be enough. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead, a control situation, just going after Nihilus, I'm just going to do basic attacks until I have Isolate on Nihilus so he doesn't uh, gain bonus turn meter. So let's go ahead, uh, swap with Treya now, uh, get her a turn, now we can drop an Isolate over on Nihilus, make sure to target my Nihilus to reduce his cooldowns, then I'm going to go ahead and increase their cooldowns. Actually, the best thing to do here is... Um, Fracture Cyan, because for my testing, sometimes when you did have Annihilate ready, Cyan had a taunt up and you couldn't Annihilate Treya. So now that we've got these guys, uh, their cooldowns wrecked, fractured, isolated, now Vader can go into Merciless, just go around, do a round of basics. And let's go ahead and do another Force Crush, perfect. Sure, let's get those buff of Savage now. Uh, yeah, I don't know, sure, just get a tap on Nihilus I guess. Oh uh, Trey is about to get a turn so maybe let's drop a basic on her see if we can push some turn meter back. There we go. Let's get our Nihilus in here. Get Trey out and now they lost basically all the cleanses. Now I did lost Gideon at this point due to the damage over time because Gideon unfortunately is not safe so Trey can't save him. Nihilus did increase my cooldowns but at this point without Trey 
those you can't isolate and things like that. And I just got so much uh, damage over time on him. As soon as he takes a turn, uh, he will just die from damage over time. Anyways, uh, I have to deal with Sign a little bit here. And good thing, obviously, as well, with Darth Vader's lead, uh, dam uh, damage over time won't expire. So they keep reapplying. There we go. We got everybody down now. So I'm just kind of here doing basic attacks on Savage. Savage. Just try to stall the battle a little bit longer just to make sure I do get my 400% termeter removal because I have no idea without a feed tracker where we're at. At some point, I'm like, I'm sure I got enough termeter removal by now. Uh, just pulled off Annihilate on Savage. Get him out of here. And this now completed for me. Um, you know, all the feats except the Gungan ones on tier 10, which easily unlocked Silver Crate for me today. Again, many ways to do this, uh, especially the no tanks feat or even the terminator removal feat. I've seen some people, you know, have even died with Kylo Gideon or Leia with old Ben and his mind tricks and CLS as well thrown in there for removing terminator. I've seen some people doing throne lead with Imperial Troopers. So definitely many ways to approach this. I just kind of picked what I hope is kind of decently accessible team for many of you out there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on Friday's challenge. Uh, but until then, have fun, enjoy your life, and may the RNG be with you, my friends.